Naval aviation is the pointy edge of the spear. Anytime there's a conflict going on, uh, the world turns to the United States to, to help out. NFO, the challenges are just unbelievable. You can't tell the difference between a pilot and an NFO. You're all aviators. The NFO is in charge of communicating and navigating and telling the pilot where to go and basically in charge of the mission. If you want to be challenged in your life, it's a good thing to do. This is one of the coolest jobs in, in the world. The career of a Naval Flight Officer is personally the best way to go. I love my job and I have a mission completely separate from being a pilot. You're blazing the trail and you're making the missions happen. You're running the weapon systems, you're running the radar, you're running the communication. You're a critical part of the team. It's not like we're in the aircraft and just along for the ride. We may be called upon to drop weapons, shoot at an enemy vessel. We are the ones making it happen. It's everybody coming together as a whole that's completing that mission. A lot of times with the two-person air crew carrying a naval flight officer allows us to be more lethal and survivable. A pilot cannot by himself or herself fly the airplane. There's too much for one person to do. And the success or failure of the mission generally is not incumbent upon one individual, but as the entire team. In the EA6B community, NFOs run the show. It's the most tactical platform that you can fly. I'm the one that's telling them what's going on, where to go, doing all the talking with the ship. It's just as if I were in control of the aircraft. In the front seat, uh, my responsibilities are mostly as a co-pilot, running the radar, working the communications, working our harm control panel, which is the panel we use to fire our missile. When we're in the back, we're steering the jammers, so really the priority is on what we do. Being on a P3, they... And I